Hi everyone, my name is Regina. I'm going to be speaking on mentorship as a pathway for open source uh, sustainability. I am currently serving, serving as the Vice President Board of Directors at GNOME Foundation. I'm a software engineer and also a founder of Prana Initiative. Um, for this talk, I'm going to be touching a little bit on the, um, a brief of introduction. And I'm going to be talking about the role of mentorship in OS projects. I'm going to be discussing common OS programs, I'm using it as a context for this talk and success stories as well. Challenges of identifying mentors, mentors challenges, and then strategies for identifying and supporting mentors. Um, to begin this talk, I will be starting with a quote that um, was done by um, Denzel Washington. Washington. And he said, um, show me a successful individual. I will show you someone who had a positive influence in his or her life. And he said, I do not care whatever you're leaving. If you, if you don't read well, I'm sure. I think there's something wrong with my slide, but I will just go ahead then. Okay. And on this quote, um, I would like to start my talk. Basically, if you could see the picture used, you would see that mentorship is basically all about helping someone else to get up there. In the context of open source projects, it's about helping people to be able to understand an OS project and how to participate, communicate, contribute to the advancement of the project. So the role of mentorship in open source, open source projects um, cut across different areas. For instance, mentorship um, can serve as a form of training. It could serve as a form of motivation for an individual. It could serve as a form of a way of advising um, people on how to come into a particular community or how to contribute. Mentorship can also be from success stories um, that people would use that as a means to um, join a particular community. And mentorship could serve as a direction for an individual as well. And it could also help also in achieving an individual's goal or the organizational goals. Organizational goal in this context is the community goal, the OS project goals. I'm going to be basing this um, talk on two mentorship programs, and that's the Outreach program and the GSOC. So these are common OS mentorship programs that several OS projects, federal, GNOME, um, participate in. And it's a mentors-driven program, which is um, over time um, has a lot of success stories. So Outreach, for instance, an internship for supporting diversity in tech, and Google Summer of Code is also a program focused on bringing more developers into um, open source um, software development. The couple of success stories um, that have been arrested from these board programs, and these are a few of um, them, right? Um, looking at the story, for instance, of Derek, who um, basically was a GSOC student and now serving as a technical lead and trainer for the African Wikipedia Development Project. He started as um, an intern, and of course, he was mentored as well. The same goes for the other two, including Esther. Um, so we cannot, you know, um, overemphasize the success stories that have come out of this sport project and the importance and the role that mentorship has to play. Why then do I have to talk about this today? I mean, it seems as though the programs are going very well. Do we really have issues with mentors? When I started my career years back, I started by lecturing in a uh, technolo uh, technological institution and I was lecturing in software development department. One thing I noticed when I joined the program was that we had less people recruiting for the program and then we have we had less uh, females graduating out of the program and i realized that there was a gap so what i did was to create a mini mentorship programs where i involved other lecturers and helped to mentor students and ask what they were going through and how difficult the program was. As you could imagine at the time now in Nigeria, um, at that time, that was about 10 years ago, there was no um, much um, mentors around when it comes to technology. Um, 
And so we had to create like a little community in the institution um, that helped students uh, thrive. In the space of two semesters, there was a great um, change as to how many students began to graduate. For instance, we had um, previously had five females um, registered in each program. That's the maximum we've gotten. And we, we never get one of them to graduate. But after the mentorship program, we started having females graduating, above five being recruited, and the numbers were the same at the point of graduation. That's the impact mentorship has to play. That's why I am passionate about talking about how mentorship is very important in open source projects and how it could help in sustaining open source projects. So ongoing challenges for identifying mentors in OS projects. There have been several studies that have talked about the challenges that mentors are going through at the moment. I'm going to be basing this on the recent research that was done by Apache Software Foundation in 2021, where they had a, a survey carried out. And out of this survey, um, 175 people um, responded to this survey. There is a little bit of typo there. And in this survey, the findings says that 175 people uh, were participating um, as a mentor in the Apache Software Foundation. And they said that they are able to only participate once a month um, to uh, mentor newcomers coming into the project. Some of them said that why they're able to participate basically is because they were partly paid, so they had the job and they could do that on the side. As you could imagine, open source project is basically based on volunteering in a way. And um, others complained about experience. Um, the knowledge is limited. It is not evenly shared across um, different people in the project. There was also language barriers and social interaction as well. And others talks about um, demographics. Um, interviewing some of these mentors, um, two um, challenges um, came up. The first was that the challenge and uh, difficulty in identifying appropriate tax for newcomers. And that means that this tax that newcomers has to go through is not um, properly um, um, spelled out or it's not simple and clear enough for the mentors to understand to even you know mentor a new person coming into the community. And the other said that the mentor um, has to you know, um, figure out how to get their mentees the information they need. So this is based on documentations. They are not properly spelled out for mentors. And so when mentors don't understand this, they don't know how to get involved. And so we have an issue with, with having mentors participate in any program at all in open source. So there are different strategies that are ongoing at the moment um, that has been followed um, to recruit mentors. And this is just a few of different projects. Um, so utilizing social media as a platform to call out for mentors, utilizing social media as a platform to connect to different mentors. And as you can see, um, the federal projects, the GNOME project, and the Wikimedia Tech projects. All of these and every other projects are beginning to look into social media as a means to get mentors, to recruit mentors into their projects. Other such strategies for recruiting mentors um, for open source sustainability are based on what is going on in different projects at the moment that has been tested and tried, and I thought to put them together. There are more to this, and I'll be happy to hear um, other suggestions as well. So one is to make processes and documentation clear. I said that in my uh, previous slide, um, how it is important that mentors need to understand the processes required um, to become a pro to, to become a mentor and what they need to know to tell the newcomers coming into open source community. This can help a great deal in recruiting more newcomers into an open source project and helping the project longevity. And also have a communication channel for mentors. Communication channel at this point is basically depending on the mailing lists or Slack or any communication channel or discourse that your project is utilizing, there should be a dedicated channel for mentors. This dedicated channel can help to have new people come into the channel to either volunteer to mentor or understand what it takes to mentor. This um, 
um, communication should not just be on the mentors channel. It should be spread across introduction, introduction channel um, in each of the communities. Um, the third part is mentor stipends. Um, mentor stipends is um, an ongoing discussion since I've been discussing um, recently about open source sustainability and I've come to find that there's so much conversations around mentor stipend. So what this means is that mentors should be given a level of stipends to be motivated. This um, is uh, more like a conversation now, open source is built on volunteerism. Why should mentors be given stipends? So demographics are different. I'm from Africa. And basically, when you're having to um, recruit mentors, one of, the, one of the things you want to look at is motivation. So there are different ways people can be motivated in different demographics. And um, stipend is one way that I found that would be helpful in motivating and bringing in more mentors in open source projects. Um, and lastly is um, gender balance. The part for gender balance is a problem that I mentioned in the last research that was done by the Apache Foundation, where they had more male, domin more male people responding to the survey that was sent out. They had about 97.6 male males responding to um, the uh, survey. This is to tell us that there are still fewer women in open source projects. So ensuring that you call for more um, females in open source projects to mentor other females, see that if possible to create a balance in it. So is it that, you know, to bridge this um, gap that we're currently having in the open source project. I'm going to end my talk um, today, which is actually on a quote by Jim Norman, which was formerly a uh, military personnel in the US um, decades back. So his actual quote is, mentoring is an indispensable requirement for, for an artist's growth, not only as skills and experience shared, but there's value in the essential re-examination of one's own work and techniques. And this is my version of the quote. Mentoring is necessary is a necessary requirement for the sustainability of open source projects, not only as skills and experience shared, but the person is transformed, resulting in a long term gains for all stakeholders. When I was trying to put out this version of my quote together, I just had to summarize everything I want to talk about today. The gains that we have in promoting mentorship via different strategies that I've mentioned and the ones I'm here to learn about. It doesn't just cut across the individual alone. I mean, yes, the individual again, but the individual puts it back. It's more like a refueling into the open source project. And this is able to breed in more talents, diverse talents, and also, you know, um, create a space where new people can, can come into the community. Open source projects is built on volunteerism. But the space at which things are going at the moment in open source, there's a need to diversify in our thoughts. There's a need to diversify in what we have been used to um, years back. To begin to look at things, especially now that open source is beginning to thrive in other parts of the world, Asia and Africa. What works in this environment and how can we get these people into open source projects? I look forward to um, answering some of your questions. Um, thank you very much.